three vacuums, and they're hoping on this short track to dry it out. Again, weather predicted to uh, more rain within the next couple of hours throughout the afternoon and evening. So we're in a holding pattern, but I'm oh, trouble. Oh, good grief. Elliott. Oh, no. Michael McDowell. Oh, oh Michael right Truex. the last second. Truex. in. And, gosh, that was ugly. Well, right there, guys. Take a look at it. Well, it was. Purex, he just could not get stopped. I mean, you're going 130 mile an hour, and he just can't stop on these. I mean, the straightaway 650 feet long. You ain't got a lot of it time to make a make a decision. Boy, that 34 of Michael McDowell, he'd been fast all weekend, but he was caught up in that. Yeah, just a lot of. I mean, this is what happened at this track, particularly early in the race. Everybody Ooh, just up. gets loose underneath the 19 of Suarez, comes around and collects Chase Elliott and some others. Boy, look at the great job Eric Jones and William Byron did squeezing by. And Mark Truex just can't get stopped. I don't think that a lot of bad damage on that 9 car, but certainly a lot of damage on the 78. Mike, I was just going to say that, that that traction compound, it's a little slick right now. you got to get a little heat in it. I noticed when I was driving the pace car, it's still a little sticky, but it's slick until you get a little heat in it. And I think 78 of Truex had a little help getting yeah. shoved into that. Yeah, Ross Chastain turned around. Low, 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 come to the middle here, shoot the middle. Just start taking behind you, we're trying to the middle. Hold it, hold it. Now, Adair got stopped. Uh, that bump was from Truex when he got into Elliott. Back it down, back it down, back it down, back it down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're going to hear a lot of that on Spotters today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which way is whoa, Darrell? Is that left or is that right? <laughs> that means push the brake pedal as hard as you can. Oh, oh, he makes contact oh, no. into Stenhouse. Jones might have got tipped by Logano, then he got into Stenhouse. Chris Busher spins at the back of the field, and we are right back under caution at lap 61. Yeah. I think you have to be so careful trying to push hard on that bottom groove where the traction compound is. You're going to see right the car there, right there. Yeah. It gets a little bit loose, and it just takes a I mean, the 22 was the definitely right. right on his rear bumper, but I don't know how much that had an effect on how loose he got. Well, when the, when the, when the 20 gets a little bit loose, uh, that uh, creates a chain reaction, and uh, of course you see the 20 gets into the 17, and around he goes. Oh, oh trouble, 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 three! Yikes! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 Trevor Bain Great. went around, he got turned, and as Chris Buescher slid up the racetrack, there was Ryan Blaney. Yeah, you see Bain up there in the six. They go three wide, Chris Buescher goes to the outside. 51 kind of uh, caught in the middle. And, yeah, Bain yeah. just didn't know Busher was on the outside. Yeah. Ooh. Blaney just Ooh. know where to go. Chris Rhodes slides up the racetrack. And Keselowski did a, a masterful job of avoiding all that. Yeah, he kind of went to the bottom of the 12, and I think that actually paid off. Here's the contact between Trevor Bain and Chris Busher. I think because... Keselowski started to go to the bottom of the 12 of Blaney. It put him in a much better lane to much. avoid that. Yeah. I believe Bain would have been the free pass car, but since he's in the middle of it, what a shame. Yeah. What a shame. Ryan Blaney had the lead for 99 laps and for much of this race had the best car on the racetrack. Probably not very happy either. You should be pretty calm. <laughs> yes. but not right now. Well, I think he knew he had a rocket ship today and it got away from him. Welcome to Thunder Valley. Well, the thunder needs a little spark plug or ignition because Mother Nature has had her way with NASCAR for the last few weeks. In the last 20 minutes, it has stopped and started raining three different times as this storm system works its way across the northeast corner of Tennessee. Kyle Larson has been caught by Keselowski, whoa, whoa, whoa. who gives him a shot and takes the lead. Up and run. It's Bristol. That's what I like, baby. Kyle Larson last got tires at lap 122. Oh, look at Larson trying to pay him back. <laughs> Larson did that. I guarantee you one of those guys, he didn't like that one bit. And going to get a little dicey here between these three leaders. Six Larson to go trying stage to work two. that top groove. Oh, not enough grip up there yet. It's going to lose a position. I don't know. He's got a lot of steam down that back straightaway. Watch Larson go to the top. Brad, yes. well, look at Brad. He wants the bottom. Corey LaJoy is there. Brad gives him a bump and says, get out of my way. I'm the leader. I'm coming through. Oh. And there he goes. Wow. <laughs> That's what I like. Trevor Bain 
Goes a lap down to the leader. Still think 42 mission accomplished. Kept the 41 three laps down. I don't know if that was in their mind or not, but it could have been. And he'll get an upfront finish. Third stage win of the season. Counting stage one yesterday for Brad Keselowski. Oh, 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 Newman turns Larson. Are you kidding I me? I thought Larson came down on the 31. I'll be honest. I thought he cut it too close. I, I Great agree, job Jeff. of keeping it out of the inside wall. Yeah, Jeff, I agree. Newman, or rather Larson, saw the lap traffic piling up kind of in front of him, clogging up, and he made a quick, very abrupt lane change and got turned around. <laughs> Here's Ryan Newman's radio. It kind of crossed my nose. I think it was obvious. You race your race, you're doing good. I know, I'm sorry, but it can't just cut across my nose. Battle for the lead up front. Bubba Wallace wants to lead this thing. He's going for the lead. Look at in the back straight away. He may have, yes, he's been in the wall. Yeah, it left front. front. Definitely down. Boy, that saved the 18 of Kyle Busch. <laughs> it did. He was getting ready to bit. Yeah. Some smoke trailing from the two car. That's the left front tire going down or suspension issue or whatever went on there. Yep. I think he just wore out the left front tire. Yeah, I think that's what happened, too. He and called it a long time ago. Yeah. I think he just held on to it as long as he could. He says, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm coming, I'm coming. Open the door, let me in. Oh, there's Skip. Right at one bank. You can see that's the that's where the 18 gains on Larson. He just squirts up off that corner. Larson gains on him, getting into the corner. <laughs> he dive bombed her in there, but not enough. Too little, too late. Kyle Busch wins Bristol. His 45th career win, two in a row. The fifth time he's won consecutive races, including three in a row in 2015. He's going to scatter some skittles. <laughs> Candyman. Kyle Busch taking home the checkered flag as today's Sunoco fueling victory. That's cool. I wish I could do that. <laughs>